Hey YouTube, I wanted to do a video today on a great weapon that I think is perfect for the budget-minded uh, preparer. That would be the person who's preparing for home defense, for national emergency, for any type of situation where you might need a handgun, but you don't want to spend a lot of money. I've got here a CZ-82 pistol. I bought this a couple years ago at a pawn shop but these are readily available online at uh, a number of different people who deal in surplus military weapons and that type of thing. Let me tell you a little bit about it. As I said, it's a CZ-82, or in its native country, it's a VZ-82 from the Czechoslovakian military. This uh, firearm was used, I think, starting in 1983, and I've heard it's still used, but I don't know if it is or isn't. Anyway, they bring these into the country at a very reasonable price. And it might be something that might be uh, something you can use. Okay, it's a compact, double-action, semi-automatic pistol. And it uses the 9x18 Makarov, or Makarov, round. It has a 12-round double-stack magazine. That was actually one of the features that prompted me to buy this, because I was looking for something with, that was high capacity. Most of the low-cost uh, imports, a lot of them are imports, are single-stack. But it was, pretty, it was pretty tough to get a low-price one with a high capacity. This will hold 12 rounds and, of course, one in the chamber. It has a chrome-plated bore. Uh, let's see, what else? It's also ambidextrous. That was another feature that was very attractive for me. Let me check it right quick here. It's ambidextrous, meaning that the uh, magazine is dropped from this little button right here behind the trigger. A lot of the European ones, they have uh, the latches down at the bottom, which is a little bit awkward for me. It's a weapon that can be used for a lot of different things. Although it's not perfect for any one thing, it covers a lot of bases, and that's another reason why I bought it. It's small enough for concealed carry. It's big enough to do a little bit of damage. It has enough capacity, 13 rounds, to, you know, really lay some lead out. It's also small enough for a female to feel comfortable with if she's not, uh, you know, turned on with these big... ACP 45 caliber handguns that, that a lot of people have at their house. So it works out pretty good for women too, or even youth. They also make a CZ 83. It's a civilian model. It looks very similar to this. I think it may be a little more, more money, but not too much more. And it comes in a couple different calibers. It comes in the, of course, the 9 by 18 Makarov. It also comes in the 380 and the 32 ACP. So you get a little variety there if you wanted that. Now, what are the suitable uses for this type of firearm? You could use this for home defense, I think. You could also use this for concealed carry, like I talked about. This might be a gun that you might want to use in your bug out bag. It's cheap enough you could keep this stowed in a bug out bag in case you had a national emergency or, or for whatever reason, and you needed to get out of Dodge quick and you'd have this firearm with its ammunition already stowed in your bug out bag. It's cheap enough that it that you could buy it, put it there, and kind of forget about it, although you would want to fire it occasionally to keep, uh, you know, up on it. So, however, it is all metal. So it's a little bit heavier than a lot of the newer, like the kel and some of these other lightweight, smaller, cheaper uh, handguns. So, if you're big on weight, which I am in a bug out bag, this may be a little more heavier than you might want. But not so, not too much. <clears throat> Let's see, what else we got? Also, this is a great backup gun. Suppose you had a situation where the whole world went to the hell in the handbasket, 
and you needed to arm somebody else, a friend, a family member, you had a firearm, but they didn't. This is a great second firearm, cheap, reliable, to have around for a purpose like that. These are also a great project gun. I've seen a number of people on the internet, they buy these things. It has a, a kind of a black sprayed on paint. A, you know, it's a pretty durable, hard finish, but it's not all that attractive. I've seen people strip these down and refinish them. They look really nice. In fact, if you're thinking about getting into, uh, you know, you want to get into working on guns, doing parkerized finishings and so forth, why buy, you know, a $400 gun and experiment? You could start off with a firearm like this and get some experience on uh, doing some of these modifications, finishes, and so forth. So it, it makes a great starter gun in the, uh, you know, experimenting with some of your talents on uh, modifying it. Let's talk about the pros and cons of the CZ82. The, i, I got to be honest, the pros were a lot. I had to scratch my head for the cons. Realizing we're talking about a $200 firearm here now. Okay? Now, some of you guys who are more of a gun enthusiast than I am, post some more cons if you can come up with them. I appreciate your input on that. Uh, but let me tell you the pros I got. You can't beat the price. I paid about 200 bucks for this. And you can get these online for right around that same price. They usually come with the two magazines and a rod for cleaning and usually a holster too. That's 200 bucks. I bought 500 rounds of ammunition. I paid a little over 100 I think $105 with shipping to my door. So the ammunition is cheap. The gun itself is cheap. And to be honest with you, before I did this video, I went up to the pawn shop and a couple of my gun shops, and I looked around to see what exactly $200 would buy in different different makers. And to be honest with you, I couldn't find anything even close. A few Caltex uh, that were very small and maybe some high points or something. But generally, uh, when you get into a double stack magazine like this, there's not there's not much you're going to find for 200 bucks. These seem to review well in most reviews that I've read, which I did before I bought it. Uh, it's a great all-around handgun, as I mentioned. That's another con uh, pro. You know, it's good for a lot of things, and so it gets high marks for that. It's kind of an all-around gun that can serve a number of purposes in a fair capacity. Uh, I mentioned the high-capacity magazine. It also has ease of maintenance. This thing is so easy to break down, you basically pull that trigger down, and you just lift it off. That's it. Clean away. You know? To, dis to reassemble it, it's that simple, my friends. <laughs> One other pro that that's an interesting side note that I, I would like to mention is it's an it's a CNR eligible gun. Now the Curio and Relic license is a license that anybody can get from the uh, the ATF I guess. I don't have one but I've looked into it. You get this license and you can buy through the mail to your door any of the firearms that are listed in the, into that category. This being one of them. So if you got that license, that Curio and Relic license, that's like 30 bucks. You just apply for it. It's not a big deal. Any of the guns that are Curio, Relic uh, qualified, which are a lot of guns, they have a whole list. A lot of them are collector's editions or antiques and so forth. But it's a pretty interesting concept to get that license. So if you had that Curio, Curio and Relic license, you could order this thing through the mail or come to your door. So that's another big plus to this firearm. Now, here are some of the cons that I came up with. Number one is the availability of ammo. You cannot buy this 9x18 Makarov ammunition at Walmart. Okay, you can find it at gun stores, sure enough, but it's not as common as, say, a 380 or a 9mm. The other thing is the weight. A lot of these new 
polymer type guns or the aluminum frames are a lot lighter weight. This has a little bit of heft to it. Some people like that. It helps out on recoil. But the weight is, you know, it's got some weight to it. The other, uh, I'd say con is the finish. It has this black, see if you can focus in good here. It has this black, as I said, it's some type of baked on paint. Usually when you get these guns, they have a few chips or holster wear. And while it doesn't bother me at all, for some people, that may be problematic. But it might be a good invitation to uh, try a refinishing job. Well, that's about all I've got on this uh, CZ82. What I would like to hear from, or people suggest other models that are low budget, yet high in uh, delivering capabilities. So if you can think of some other models that may be good candidates, post them, and we'll start a conversation about it. I appreciate you tuning in. Subscribe if you if you want to. I try to put up different videos on a couple different topics uh, of my interest and hopefully other people's interest too. Talk to you later.